Hapo awali kuna video fulani ambayo ilizua gumzo kubwa sana kwenye mitandao ya kijamii hapa Kenya. Hii ni video ya kasisi kwa kanisa la Katoliki akionekana akibariki klabu fulani. Hii klabu ya Kwiva ambayo imefunguliwa pale mji wa Keno siku chache zilizopita. Hii ni video ambayo ilizua mjadala mkubwa watu wakishangaa je inakubalika kwenye maadili ya Kikristo kasisi kubariki kitu ambacho kinapingwa kwenye uh, Kikristo. Na na baada video hiyo kusambaa sana kwenye mitandao ya kijamii mchungaji mashuhuri kutoka pa Kenya anayejulikana kama Pastor T Mwangi alijitokeza na kumkashi vikali uh, kasisi huyo istoshe ameweza kuomba kanisa la Katoliki uh, liweze kujitokeza na kuzungumzia kuhusu ili swala la kasisi huyu kuonekana kibariki kitu ambacho kinapingwa kwenye maandiko matakatifu na mchungaji huyu alisema hivi kupitia kusak rasmi wa Facebook Shame shame I hope the Catholic bishop clergy will come out to condemn such actions and activity because it's not in line with our biblical ethics and doctrines in a country where 70% are youth where we are opening mega clubs and closing mega churches it should act as an alarm of crisis Christianity is becoming irrelevant to the youths and in coming generations because the tenets and values of our faith are being diluted by the very custodians na unajua kuna watu wengine husema kwamba eh, kwenye maandiko matakatifu Yesu alibadilisha maji akawa mvinyo je ni ukweli amchungaji huyo kajibu hao watu akiwaambia hivi I know someone will say Jesus turned water into wine as a miracle. The context was at a wedding where they served good wine and sour wine or bad wine. Good wine was just juice pressed from fresh grapes and it had no alcohol. They used to serve it at first and it was for the rich and high table. Jesus turned water into good wine, not bad wine, the fermented grapes. Mjengaji huyu akauliza hao wa Kenya, hao wa Kristo, hao watu ambao huliza hilo swali kama ni ukweli Yesu alibadilisha maji akawa mvinyo. Na akaendelea akiwakanya makasisi akisema hivi, Jesus was also a Nazarite from Nazareth, the same vow was upon Samson and John hence he could not take any intoxicating drinks or alcohol because of the Nazarite nature. The first man to take alcohol was Noah and he went he went naked and cast his children. This club will be a base of immorality. Marriages will end here. Pregnancies will be conceived here and aborted at the same time. And destinies will be aborted here. Hence the trade is not in line with our ethics. Na kamalizia akisema hivi, Jesus interacted with sinners but Jesus never blessed sin. Soon we will dedicate drug warehouses and brothels in the name of businesses. He nayo ni apana he said. Hivyo ndivyo amjungaji um, huyo alivyosema. Na we, unakubaliana na uh, maoni ya mchungaji huyu ama unapinga kabisa? Unaweza toa maoni yako kwenye comment section na tuambie. Thank you for watching. Let's be next time. Bye bye.